Before we hop into the video, I just wanted to share some news with everyone out there who likes to collect horror movies or is trying to build their horror collection. Horror Pack is a monthly subscription service that sends out a box to all their subscribers containing four horror movies at random. They send out a box every month to everyone that subscribes to them, including four horror movies at random inside of the box. So if you want to select Blu-ray or DVD format, they do have those options as well. Those are the two options you have available to you. They have different subscription plans you can choose from. So whether you want to stay subscribed for a month, three months, six months, or a year, they have different pricing options for each format. They have the pricing options for the DVDs and the pricing options for the Blu-ray format as well. I will leave a link to that website down in the description of this video. And if you do decide to become a subscriber to them, you can get $3 off your first horror pack box by using the code it follows. Again, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the website. And if you decide to describe to horror pack and build your horror collection, you can get $3 off of your first box using the code it follows. With that in mind, let's get into the video. What is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be my official review of jeepers creepers 3 i've talked about this movie before in the past but i i didn't go into real too much detail on it i'm not i'm going to try to avoid as many spoilers as i can so if you do not want to get spoiled then i would say click the video off right now if you haven't seen this video or if you haven't seen the movie i mean jeepers creepers 3 was released last year and it came out 14 years after the second film. Now, originally when Jeepers Creepers 3 was announced over 10 years ago, the plan was for it to take place 23 years later and pick up in the barn with Ray Wise's character. And it was going to go from there. Gina Phillips was set to return and play the role of Trish Jenner from the first movie. She was going to have a son named after Derry, her brother that got, that got killed by the creeper in the first film. Uh, the Jeepers Creepers 3 that actually came out last year takes place in between the first and second film. So this film in itself is an, is an immediate sequel to the first film. Now the problem with that is there's several things in this film that do not add up and they just don't, they just don't, they're not constant with the narrative told in the first film. Uh, there's only one character in this film that actually returns from the first film that is a, that's like an active role throughout the whole film. And that's uh, Brandon Smith's character in Sergeant Tubbs, Davis Tubbs. Sergeant Tubbs, he teams up with this task force that goes looking for the creeper. And the funny thing about this is that this task force seems to know all all the mythos of the creeper because they've encountered it. They've encountered this thing in the past. But my gripe with that is since. Because in the if you're familiar with this series, you know in the original series or the, in the original film that Jeepers Creepers comes out every 23rd spring for 23 days. This is something that we find out from Giselle Gay Hartman. She plays a psychic in the local in the area. She's a local psychic in the area. Now, with the explanation of her being a psychic, that explains how she knew what was going to happen to Derry, and that explains her her role in the film and why she seems to know all about the creeper. In this movie, Jeepers Creepers 3, these are char these characters are not are not illustrated to have any psychic abilities. They're just regular people who somehow know where the creeper is and where he and what he does and how he operates. That to me is a big problem because in the original film it's established that the only reason that Giselle knew that and the only reason Derry, Trish, and everyone around them knew about the creeper and how he would operate is because of Giselle and her psychic capabilities. Giselle was established as a local psychic in the area of Poho County. In this film, we don't get any knowledge or backstory as to why these characters seem to know all about the creeper's mythos. It seems that the explanation we are led to believe is because they had an encounter with it that granted them access to the creeper's mythology and his background and the whole 23 day feeding frenzy type of thing. That doesn't make any sense. Just because you encounter something doesn't grant you access to his mythos. That's, an that's a highly ridiculous narrative piece of the narrative that's a highly ridiculous piece of the overall ridiculous narrative jeepers creepers 3 tries to tell they bring back something that was missing in the second film the truck the truck has basically its own life in this film the truck has a mind of its own 
it has all these new gadgets that were not present in the first film because the third Jeepers Creepers takes place immediately after where the first film ended. The Creeper has just taken Derry and Jeepers Creepers 3 is picking up from there. It has it has all these the truck has all these new revamped gadgets and it doesn't make any sense because where were all these gadgets in the first film? The truck has trap doors, it has a rope that shoots out of the exhaust pipe or a harpoon that shoots out of the exhaust pipe. You know the creeper loves his harpoons or his little throwing stars. The truck has has its dose of that. It's just a full it's enchanted basically and it's just a big question mark because where was this in the first film? It, it's it's not in the first film but this is not something that was present in the first film. So if you're going to have a film that's taking place immediately after the first film, what's with the giant narrative? Like the narrative is just a bit too expand the narrative of the creeper gets expanded upon a bit too much because some of the things the creeper does in this film does not do not make sense there's a scene where we're told that um meg meg foster plays a role in this movie meg foster is in this movie she has a scene where she is handed uh or where she has an experience with the creeper's hand one of the creeper's limbs that's the main point of this movie the creeper is after a severed limb that he did not manage to get back 23 years ago back when he was on his other feeding frenzy the problem with this is apparently this hand holds its origins now if anyone comes in contact with this and they get access to his origins that's going to ruin that's going to obviously weaken the creeper standing in this area now the problem with this being said is if that the creeper is aware that there is a hand out there that holds his origins and he because he easily gets it at the end of the film if it was that easy for him to get it this is what the problem is why and since he's almost he's almost at the end of his 23 day cycle my question here is why did he wait so long in this in this cycle to go after that hand of his it's because once again this further goes to show that jeepers creepers 3 was not well thought out the movie lacks any logic as far as the reasoning as to why the creeper somehow cares about this hand because in the second film we see him tossing around his body limbs like he doesn't care there's a scene where he's literally shown throwing his head off the top of the bus so what is so special about this hand now that wasn't special about any of his other body limbs in the second film because the second film takes place after the third film and the first film is before the third film Jeepers Creepers 3 honestly does not fit in between the first and second film it creates it creates a few plot holes it creates many plot holes actually for the first film and the second film alike because now I now there's several questions raised about what the creeper actually is doing and is he as smart as the as the um, character is shown on screen because if he's so smart why did he wait so long to go after something that's gonna be potentially detrimental to his mystery his overall scheme of things he doesn't want to know he doesn't want his victims to find out what he is but yet he spends a great amount of time going after everything but the hand in the first film because in the first film now that makes him look a bit ridiculous because why are you wasting your time going after two college students when you have something that's going to be detrimental to your overall scheme you have something much greater and you're choosing to focus on these two college students that's what's really ridiculous about all of this Jeepers Creepers 3, the only redeeming quality I give it is the fact that Gina Phillips does return at the end of the film. She sets up perfectly if they do eventually do a Jeepers Creepers 4, which I don't think they're going to do. I have other videos on my channel where I discuss the future of this franchise. I'll have annotations for them at the end of the video. But uh, there's also another girl in this film, the main girl, Addison. She is terrible. She is played by Gabrielle Hall. Gabrielle Hall was on a few soap operas, if I'm not mistaken, and she was kicked off of one. Or she, someone else replaced her, I guess it was because of her bad acting. When I saw Jeepers Creepers 3 last year, now I see what pe other people were talking about. Gabrielle Hall, she was absolutely terrible. She did not carry this film well. She was a terrible main lead as an actress. Um... The love romance between her and this guy from Stranger Things was absolutely terrible. The special effects in Jeepers Creeper, Jeepers Creepers 3 is terrible. The story is terrible. The CGI is terrible. Uh, there's a green screen sequence in it where you can clearly tell it's a green screen. It looks terrible. The only redeeming quality in this movie is the Creeper himself. Uh, seeing Jonathan Breck re reprise that role of the Creeper, that's the only redeeming quality. And then you have the return of Trish at the end of the film. And then in between, it's just fun to see the Creeper take these idiots out because everyone in this movie is just blatantly stupid and their acting is so terrible and nothing really makes sense. Nothing in the movie makes sense. 
that is my official review on Jeepers Creepers 3. If you've seen this film, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. In the description, I will leave links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, with all that in mind, guys, let me know what movies you would like me to review down in the comment section below.